Hey, what's up everyone? It's Sai here, and today we are reacting to the brand new news. Um, this is June, today is June 24th, 2020. Uh, we're reacting to the Pokemon Presents news that's going on today. Um, normally I would stream this, but, um, this, I am observing Twitch Blackout today. Um, which is one of the reasons why I am doing this as a YouTube video instead. So if you guys enjoy this reaction and all that and more, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more Pokemon content on this channel, and check out my Twitch channel because that's normally where I do content. So, uh, yeah, go follow my Twitch channel. I stream there almost daily, uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the most part. Um, so if you guys like that kind of stuff, uh, yeah, go check out my Twitch channel. Link's below in the description. Um... Before we, before this presents actually gets started, I think my main prediction for this is that we're going to be getting, I, I, I know a lot of people have been saying Let's Go Johto, but I don't want Let's Go Johto personally. I think that we're probably going to be getting maybe like a mobile game or a spinoff game or something like that. If it's, if it's a mobile game, I swear, <laughs> I swear of almighty, but, um, but yeah, we'll see how it all turns out. I hope that, uh, whatever is in the news today is going to be awesome. And yeah, let's get things started. I will see y'all in just a second. All right, y'all, the premiere is about to start. I'm so excited. Ah, it's crazy. Oh my god. Um, I don't. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm I'm very ner like like I said earlier in the intro. I'm very nervous about this direct because again, I don't know what they're gonna announce or anything like that. Um, again, like I I said my predictions earlier, but. You know, Pokemon, they can completely do, like, a 180 curveball on, like, everything. So, I'm hoping and praying that maybe, hopefully... Oh, it's starting now. Okay, cool. Let me make sure my, my sound's on. There we go. My sound is on. And we are set to go. I hate that with YouTube premieres, they always have this, like, 1 minute 50, like, intro thing. I'm just like, come on, just get straight to the video, you dang it. It's, like, it's increasing my, uh, my anxiety. But, um... But yeah, we, we out here though. We out here. I haven't, it's so weird. I haven't done like a YouTube react video thing in such a long time. So, um, yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe like, <laughs> I can't believe it's, it's actually happening again. Um, but, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for what's going to happen today. Do I think it's going to have connectivity with Sword Shield is my main question. Because like, if this is a complete, if, if Nintendo was like, hey, we're going to set aside a whole announcement, a whole, like, day announcement, whatever thing, to make this, um, to make this a thing, you know, like, because th they could have announced this during their presentation last week, because there's a presentation the week before this that was talking about, um, uh, Pokemon Snap, uh, what else was there? Um, Pokemon Snap was, like, the main thing that they did. I'll have to go look back. Um, I think it was also some stuff about Crown Tundra as well, um, and Isle of Armor. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure. Um, again, it's only, it's been a, wow, it's been a week, Sonny. Are you forgetting about this crap? Dang. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, th this is an 11 minute trailer, so, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, we got 18 seconds left. 18 seconds. Ooh, my blood's boiling. My blood be boiling. All right, here we go. It's time. It's time. I feel like YouTube should have like custom like premiere like intro things or whatever. But that's just me though. Rated pending to everyone. Hmm. Hello. I'm Tsune Kazu Ishihara. Well, those are new graphics. Pokemon Cafe Mix was just released today. It's not gonna be another mobile game. I hope you're all enjoying it. I feel like it's gonna be another mobile game. <laughs> Today, I would like to tell you about a new project we have been working on. All right. To begin, please take a look at this video. I feel like it's gonna be a mobile game. Trading cards? Pokemon made people trade together. All right. I love they. I love what they're doing with this. This is cool, showing like all the histories of like the trading card game, and then I. I why do I feel like it's gonna be the trading card game? <laughs> I feel like it's. I. I don't know. They, they're showing the trading card game off pretty extensively. Gigantamax Butterfree, though, that's cool. And now, the first, yeah. 
Yeah, I figured it would be. I figured it was gonna be a mobile game. I was I was 100% gonna be like, it's gonna be a mobile game, and knew it. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> All right. We have partnered with Tencent to develop this game, and I would like to invite Stephen Ma from Tencent to tell you more. Stephen? Well, I mean, everyone got our hopes up, but I mean, it wasn't the case. <laughs> Mr. Ishihara, thank you for the kind introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Darn. <laughs> I bet everyone's gonna be like, "What the heck, man? A mobile game?" It's crazy. The Unite in Pokemon Unite represents the gameplay concept of players coming together with a shared goal. The fact that they're devoting 11 minutes to this is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. have united with the goal of creating a new game that could be enjoyed by all. All right. Tencent Games, we are committed to our search for undiscovered potential in game development. And this also holds true in our partnership with the Pokemon Company. All righty then. This is why we have assigned Timmy Studios, a team with 11 years of game development experience, that has worked on many hit titles to this project. I honestly thought, like, if they were going to do, like, my main fear is that if they were going to do a mobile game, um, I don't know. I would have wanted to have something that was kind of like Pokemon Go, but, like, a story-based game. I don't know what Unite's going to be about other than, like, an art, like a team-based RPG. We'll see, though. The concept behind Pokemon Unite was to create a cooperative Pokemon game that anyone could pick up and enjoy immediately. Okay, that makes sense. I can see Pokemon doing that. To be played over and over again. Tencent Games, Timmy Studios, special team battles in team-based battle games. All right. So Pokemon version of Overwatch then? <laughs> it's all good though. Next, I would like to have the producer of Pokemon Unite, Mr. Hoshino, show more of the game to you all. I'm Masaaki Hoshino from the Pokemon Company. All right. Pokemon Unite. Allow me to go over some of the basics. The biggest defining trait of the game is its real-time team battles. Real, okay, real-time. It's like Masters, in a way. Two teams of five Pokemon each. Oh, it's 5v5, okay. Players team up and cooperate together to defeat I like the Pokemon selection, though. It's kind of cool. Obviously, Pikachu's there. <laughs> the Talonflame being an addition there is kind of cool. I like that. Why does this remind me of, like, um... Uh... League of Legends. It kind of does. Scoring areas. Catch wild Pokemon that inhabit the field to score points. It so reminds me of League of Legends with the format. The, the, maybe that's how League. I've only played League once, so maybe it's something similar to that. I don't know, but like that's cool. The Pokemon you control begins each battle at level one. All right. Defeating wild Pokemon in the field. They evolve. Will increase in level. And even evolve. There you go. So and level five, he evolves into Charmeleon. All right. And they learn new moves. You get to choose which moves your Pokemon learns as it levels up. Oh, I guess all the Pokemon are like stage ones, which makes sense, or it would depend on the Pokemon specifically. All right. Even I can dig this. Pokemon, you can choose how you want to battle. Once you reach a high enough level, you can unlock moves unique to this game called Unite Moves. Unite Moves, alright. So more special moves, like Z moves and Max moves, alright, and Sync and Sigma suit moves or whatever. Choosing when to use and attempting to read when the opponent will use theirs. You'll love to see it. The excitement of the match. Use tactics like surrounding opponents that approach your base. Or sneaking around back to the opponent's side's goal to score while a teammate has the opponent's attention. Teamwork is very but yeah, important. capture the flag esque. It's, I could definitely see that of this. Yo, that that was a cool strategy though. The Snorlax blocking the way so Pikachu can attack them. I like that. That's cool. We will be releasing it as a free to start game for Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's on Nintendo Switch as well. Oh, I thought it was gonna be Android. Also support cross platform play. Hey, you love to see that. Thank you. I hope you will look forward to the release of Pokemon Unite. You'll love to see it. Is that it? Since this is the first strategic team-based Pokemon battle game, I imagine some of you may be wondering how the game will actually play. All right. Well, I'd like to show you some gameplay with ten players. Oh, okay. He's showing us gameplay. will be joining my team. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, 
Oh, this is the Pokémon Tournament World Champion. All right. I wonder who they're facing off against. Is it going to be like Team Japan versus Team US? Hmm. Oh, uh, I, rec I recognize one of the guys from USA. All right. Because I think he's like the translator or something. I'm Corey and I'll be your commentator for today's match. I don't know who he is. He, who he is either. I feel like everybody is just like I don't know. I, don't get me wrong. I like what they're doing with this, but I feel like majority of the Pokemon community right now is like, wow, wow. <laughs> I'll have to try to get into this though. This would be fun. While there are no type advantages in Pokemon Unite, each Pokemon has different traits and abilities. So oh, all right. No type advantages. That's good. That's really good. That means my Venusaur could finally destroy Charizard. I'm so happy about that. The battle begins as all of the Pokemon rush out from the starting area. Here they go. I wonder who's gonna win. That's what I want to know. <laughs> as we can see, our players are catching lots of wild Pokemon. There we go. Of the game. Woo, there we go. Let's go, blue team. Alright. <laughs> Gotta get that health item. Get that health item. You can recover your HP. Has its sights on Pikachu. Ooh. Hey, he just knocked out Pikachu. Let's get it. If your Pokemon is knocked out, it will recover after a brief amount of time. Okay, so it's, it's like Overwatch then. Cool. Because basically with Overwatch, it's like it's a team-based game. If you get kills on people, it makes it easier to get to the to get to the um uh, uh to the checkpoint. I already been losing like uh uh Overwatch terminology. I play Overwatch. I should know this. <laughs> but this is this is basically the Pokemon version of Overwatch. Like one hundred percent. This is the this is the Pokemon version of Overwatch. Because you're you're going to the capture points, and then like along the way, like you're capturing Pokemon, and then defeating other people's Pokemon to get it. Gotcha. Wow, well, it's all it's been like nine minutes already. That's crazy. So they wanted to really show off a game. Then that makes sense. It makes sense a lot from that. We'll see what happens. There we go. Oh, this is close. It's 173 to 172. All right. All points scored in the final two minutes are doubled. There's no telling who will end up winning this match. All right. What are the shields around him? That's what I want to know. Did he just gain the shields from, from capturing Pokemon? Oh wow. I could definitely see this being used in um in Pokemon Worlds. I could definitely see this being in Worlds. Who won? That's blue team. Blue team won. Hey. Aww. Well, they tried. I didn't know who was going to win right up until the very end. What a thrilling battle. That's crazy. As you can see, it took a lot of teamwork to emerge victorious. It was cool in, in play. I admit, it was Thanks cool in play. To players and commentators today. We are hard at work on Pokemon Unite to make it a game that we hope all of you will love. All right. This probably means that they'll release like DLC Pokemon too. Mm, that'll be cool. Future about when we plan to launch the game. Thank you again for tuning in today. All right. Well, that was it. Um. <laughs> all right. Well, final thoughts, I guess. Um. I don't know. I guess my final thoughts on everything are like, yeah, it's cool. Um, Pokemon version of Overwatch. I I like that. Um. I hope I will be able to get into the game. I'm going to...
go press the replay. There you go. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool. It's a cool idea. I'll definitely have to try it, give it a try um, on Switch. I like how you can play it on Switch as well, so that will definitely be really nice to know. I want to see what other Pokemon are they're going to play in the game, because they had, like, they had a majority Gen 1 Mons, again, uh, for obvious reasons, but they also had, like, Talonflame, they had Lucario in the mix, so a lot of cool Pokemon that they'll, that they'll have, so... Again, let me know what y'all think about Pokemon Unite in the comments section. Um, thank y'all for watching this reaction video with me. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe for more reaction content. Check out my Twitch channel for streams that I do almost daily. And yeah, I will see y'all next time. Peace out, friends. Bye-bye.